little bit here as we start and we attempt to do something we have never done before. So today we're going to have two of our bikes cross over and hopefully at the same time the kangaroo kid is going to jump over the top. Now ladies and gentlemen, as I say, this has never been done before so it could be quite interesting as they come through. I'm just going to see if Matt's ready to start.
and gentlemen, down into the lock, into four-wheel drive. Mason. So, John Mason, can you ride a bike? 
Yeah, I've rolled bikes before. Uh, Not push bikes. Did you take stabilizers off? <laughs> right, so, John here thinks that it's easy to ride one of our bikes. Now, anybody here to our show earlier, we like to do a lot of things backwards. Clearly, we're not just going to get in to sit on it forwards, but Aidy here is going to give a little demonstration, and then John is going to give it a go. Now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, do we think he can ride one of our bikes backwards? Yeah. I think that was a bit mixed there, if I'm going to be honest. So we will see what happens. So, we will, at this moment, we'll give him the borrowed honour of wearing one of our white helmets, because we have bloody spares. I think we might even start the bike for him because it's not the easiest thing to do and clearly he's not a very big lad either so he might need a little bit of help on this. Of course, safety is key. Safety is very important to us. Now he has had what I can only describe as a very quick crash course into reverse riding and I'm pretty sure it's going to be a very, very, very quick crash as well. So, again, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, do we think he can ride one of our bikes backwards? Yeah. How confident are you, John? Very confident. I think we should give him a bit of a round of applause as he's sitting on there. He has been shown the basics, where the brakes are, where the spot is. Now, let's give him a bit of a clap, shall we? Let's give him a bit of a round of applause. Let's see if he can get off the line. Go for it. Not bad, not bad. Let's give him a bit of a round of applause. Now, do you think you can get your hands? Ah. Now, can you get two hands off? Oh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's give him a huge round of applause. So, apparently, apparently I have a second heckler in the crowd. Now, does anybody else think they can do this? I've seen a lot of hands, but I am here in one big bag from this corner. Now, the reason I'm going to look at him is because he looks like a big strapping lad. And he looks like he can do this no problem. Go ahead. Come on. You got a jumper? You got a jumper, John. Go Ladies and gentlemen, as he's been undressed in the centre of the arena, let's have a huge round of applause for John here. Right, so our next contender. What's your name? Brian Lorber. Right, Brian. So you think that was easy again, do you? Perry, can we have some juggling balls? <laughs> right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, apparently Brian here thinks that was far too easy, so let's make it a bit more difficult. I don't see if he can juggle. Do we think he can ride backwards and juggle, ladies and gentlemen, girls and boys? I'm not sure, I didn't get much of a response there. Do you think he can juggle? Do you think he can ride backwards? Now he clearly looks like he knows his way around a bike, but has he ever ridden backwards and juggled? I suspect not. You can juggle, right? So he has been shown the basics of the bike, he has been shown how to juggle. Let's just report the 
girls. Come on, let's have a huge round of applause for Brian there. Right, Brian, get back. Get my bike back. Get back to your beer. Now, on with the scheduled show, we are going to do what we were attempting to try and do in the first place. So, we are going to send some of our riders over the top of our nice shiny white helmet car. And once again, I'm going to give... Thank you. 
is we are going to try and fly with only three feet apart between the two monster trucks through the air at the same time and destroy these three caravans, ladies and gentlemen, with only three feet of difference between us. However, this stunt does come with a twist because we have a special guest here today, a man who goes by the name of Dangerous Brian. Dangerous Brian came to us and said, I want to be in one of those caravans when you crush it. Well, if he wants to go in there, then that's fine by me. In just a few moments time, I'm going to hand over the microphone to the kangaroo kid. He's going to interview Dangerous Brian because, to be honest with you, I've met him and I don't want to get anywhere near him. He's certified with metal. He's going to place him in one of the caravans. He's going to screw planks over the door so he can't escape, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to get strapped into Big Pink. Cannon's going to get strapped into the Good Reaper. We're going to back up. We have one more car just to put into position. And with him in there, we are going to muller these caravans. And as always, for the Sunday Night Spectacular, there are explosions as well. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we're now going to back the monster trucks into position. Do we have the drill and the planks ready to screw the door shut, Ollie? Yes, we do, Kanga. We have the drill and the planks ready for you to screw in Dangerous Brian. And I think it's time you bring him out. Hang on, hang on, wood, wood, planks, wood, planks. Planks of wood you're going to screw to the door so he can't escape. Oh, so he can't get out? Yeah. This is dangerous. Yeah, that's why we call him Dangerous Brian. Have you met the guy? He's mental. No, I see him I'm over there. I'm going to bring him out now, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, give a round of applause for Dangerous Brian!
because this is a rather foolish, rather dangerous. We have to get the timing of the speed just right. We need to make sure we do not come together in the air. Otherwise, one of us is going to hit the other. We have never tried this before. We have never been this close. We've never done three, and we've never done it in the same direction. Dangerous Brian is firmly screwed into the caravan. He says he knows where he needs to be to be safe. Personally, I don't think he's safe in a rubber room, folks, but here we go. So, the first thing we're going to need is an almighty steam fair cheer. We're going to need you to have your cameras ready. And we're going to need a really loud countdown for the finale. Oh, the Sunday Night Spectacular. Are we going to get them both in the air at the same time? Is this going to work? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm waiting for thumbs up from Peter. We've got it. Steve Fair, what about you? Do you want to see some damage?
without that, we wouldn't have to go to school. So, let's just go down over the field, ladies and gentlemen. Take over the field, take the last few minutes.